Welcome back to the channel and for those of you visiting for the first time, thank you for joining. Today I want to show you how you can take the Girton or Carl V countertop tables from Ikea and stain them away from their natural finish to a darker, much more inviting warmer tone. Now of course this video does not apply only to those who have these two tabletops. This basically applies to any unfinished piece of wood that you're using for your tabletop. I'm going to show you everything that I did to take my desk from its natural wood look which you've seen in some of my older videos to this new rich warm espresso toned desktop which now has made my entire office space feel so much more warm and inviting and I love showing it off. So let's not waste any more time, let's just jump right into the process so you can be on your way. So with this checklist and a quick trip to your hardware store, you'll have everything you'll need to get the process going. You'll want to pick up a package of tack cloth, a synthetic paintbrush with soft tips. You'll want to pick up some sandpaper with a grit range from 80 on up to 300. The highest I went was 220 grit. Pick up some rubber safety gloves because we will be using chemicals, a protective mask to block out fumes, and your choice of wood stain. They come in various shades and colors, and a can of polyurethane either glossy, semi-glossy, or matte, and try to find some old shop towels that you don't care about because it will get messy. Now, if you don't have any sawhorses, look around for anything that you can use to prop up your table on top of before you begin your staining process. Once you bring the table in, be sure everything's all stabilized and ready for cleaning and sanding. So for prepping the table, I decided to go with 180 grit sand block for the first sanding process. It's always recommended to sand with the grain of the wood so there aren't any unnatural scratches or scrapes across the board. And be sure to sand all sides as well. Once you're finished with the sanding process, you want to take out the tack cloth and wipe off all the excess sawdust on top of the board. And now we're about to get a little messy. Throw on your protective gloves and let's begin preparing the stain treatment. Because the oils and the dyes and the stain separate, it's very, very important that you stir it up before you apply. And with a lint-free cloth, begin your very first coating of stain, following the grain of the wood. And definitely don't be too afraid to apply it liberally, as we want to make sure we saturate the wood with the stain. Once your first coating is complete, allow maybe five minutes for it to dry, and you'll want to wipe off the excess layer of stain and oil on the top. And for good measure, allow the stain to dry overnight. The fun thing with stain is you can do multiple coatings, each one making it darker than the one prior. For my desk, I was satisfied with just a single coat of stain. The next step up will be to prepare the desk for the polyurethane coat. You'll want to sand everything down including the sides, top and bottom. And again, take your tack cloth and wipe down the entirety of the desk, removing any particles of dust or dirt. Pop open your can of urethane and stir it up instead of shaking to minimize any bubbling. Grab your brush, dip it in the polyurethane and begin your coating. Be sure to watch for anything dripping down on the ground below. For maximum protection, you do want to do a minimum of at least three coatings of polyurethane. Between each treatment, be sure your brush is absolutely clean and free of any grit to minimize defects in the final coating. Once the first coat of polyurethane is dried, repeat the process over two more times. Sand it down, wipe it off, then reapply another coat, and so forth. And once you've finished your coat, allow up to 24 hours before you place anything on top of the desk. And after that, install your desk and enjoy your newly updated office. Alright guys, well I hope this process was easy to understand and I hope it helps anybody who's about to undergo the exact same project. But if you do have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll be sure to answer those as quickly as possible. And if there's anything that I accidentally left out of the video, I'll leave it down below in the description. And also, I'd love to see some photos of your guys' own desk setups to be featured in an upcoming video. So if you'd like the chance to show off your desk, please send them to the email address listed below to be featured. But until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.